I look at the practice of medicine as a problem solving issue. And what I need is the tools to deliver better care. And one part of that toolkit is research. When I was a medical student, I recognized that there was cancer in the family and I reasoned that it was probably genetic. And it worried me and it made me feel a little bit pursued or hunted by cancer. Uh, but then I reached a certain point in my life when I realized that I had the capability to become a researcher and I could then turn the activities of my life into hunting the disease rather than feeling like I was hunted. In gastroenterology, genetics is important as the majority of our diseases and disorders that we treat are impacted significantly by genetic history. At the end of the year 2000, we had a cell line that we thought held the mutation that was the key to understanding hereditary colon cancer in the family. We knew that there was a mutation in this gene called MSH2, but the traditional sequencing strategies couldn't find anything because they can't find deletions. At the same time, my nephew Matt was interested in learning a little bit about biomedical research. So he applied for a grant through the AGA Research Foundation and he was funded and he came out for the summer and worked on the problem. I anticipated initially that it would take a well-trained scientist a year to solve the problem. So together with the lead lab tech, they cloned out this gene and in fact one night we were sitting there, it was about 7 o'clock and Matt and Jennifer were reading off DNA code and suddenly Matt said, I got it. Dr. Boland's research, which was funded by an AGA grant, was part of some of the seminal work in colorectal cancer genetics. This has allowed clinicians like myself to help patients who are in these high-risk families to identify which patients in those families are high risk and should get frequent examinations to prevent colon cancer, and also to take some patients in those families and say, based on these genetic evaluations, you are not at high risk. It's really important that we get young people engaged in research at an early age, and we start to teach them a little bit about how you can take a difficult concept and reduce it to practice and solve a problem. We all went into medicine to help patients, and I think it's important for all of us clinicians to step up and help our colleagues in research through the AGA Foundation so we can have those breakthroughs in the future to continue improving the care of our patients. All of us who practice gastroenterology have benefited from prior innovations that have occurred. We want more of those to occur, and the AGA Research Foundation is a place that gives a great return on investment for the money that goes in. So to keep our field lively, to keep it growing, to make it better than it is now, that's the best place to make an investment. I give back because I look forward to better care and outcomes for my patients. Support the AGA Research Foundation today.